What's going on, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and welcome back. I actually just got out of work, so sorry for the less polished appearance from normal, but I ran into an amazing zero day, and I just had to show you guys. So today we're actually working on a brand new series. It's called Epic Exploits. It's where we take you through some of the craziest stuff that I've seen in the world of exploits. This one's kind of crazy, so sit back, relax. Let's check out an epic exploit. So this exploit comes from the folks over at Tencent Labs at Zhejiang University. Now these guys have created a brand new attack vector. What it aims to do is what they call brute print, which is brute forcing fingerprints on mobile phones. Now they've created a dictionary style brute force attack that works on the fingerprint readers of phones. We've talked about brute forcing before and using dictionary attacks. Um, I cover it all in using Flipper to break Wi-Fi passwords. It's been done before, but they figured out some really cool other stuff. So the actual zero day exploit they have is bypassing the lockout when you scan your fingerprint too many times. It's CAMF, which is cancel after match fail and MAL, which is match after lock. Now, by being able to bypass those security features, it means they can try as many fingerprints as they want to. And there actually are fingerprint libraries, believe it or not. Researchers have been using them for years for this exact type of research. So for only about $15 over the hardware, and I'll read off what's actually on it. It's an SD flash, an RS2117, an STM32F412, and a B2B connector. They're able to create a device that basically spoofs the fingerprint on the phone itself. Now I'll post some graphics that I got from Bleeping Computer and ARS Technica. This is where I found these articles to begin with. I'll link down below. So as you can see right here, um, basically what's going on is that the little chipset that they built interfaces with the phone itself. And then there's an auto clicker. The auto clicker is really just basically sending the phone the information that a fingerprint has been sent to it. So basically the device stands in between the security parts of the phone and the fingerprint reading system. So basically it throws a checksum error right before it registers as a fail. So it can test over and over again and it's not registering the failed fingerprint attempts. Furthermore, it can actually alter the false acceptance rate and allow the phone to actually accept fingerprints more easily. Now this exploit really focuses on Android phones. The way iPhones implement their fingerprint scanning and security is a little bit different, so it doesn't allow this exploit. But you can see right up here, nope, up over here, that you can see it's a chart that shows how long it actually takes to break through the passwords on different phones. Now, as you can see, many of the most popular phones on the market are actually the most easily exploitable. You'll even see OnePlus up there. Now, as we mentioned before, these attacks take as many as hours to go through. So it's not something that somebody's going to be doing when you're not paying attention. So that's very important to know. So yeah, it's crazy to think about. Somebody can actually exploit the fingerprint reader on your phone to fake your fingerprint and gain access to anything on your phone. So this just goes to show you that it's so important. If anything happens to your phone, try to lock that down immediately. There's so many different ways of doing it. Google allows you to lock the phone entirely. So definitely, as soon as you lose that phone, make sure you do this. So that's one epic exploit. I thought it was a cool idea and I really wanted to share it. It's very new. I didn't see anybody on YouTube talking about it and I wanted to spread awareness, at least so you know this kind of thing exists. So if you like this kind of content, definitely like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel grow tremendously. I appreciate you guys. Take it easy.